thanks, Liam. Doug McNish is back, and uh, he's got a new book, Raw, Quick, and Delicious, Five Ingredient Recipes in Just 15 Minutes. Raw is where it's at these days. People, it, it, seemed this, it seemed like it was such a niche trend, and more and more it's picking up speed and becoming more part of the mainstream. You know, my first book came out last year, and there were some complicated recipes in it, and it took some time, so everyone said to me, well, why don't we do something that's really simple, easy, five ingredients or less, all the recipes are ready to the table in 15 minutes or less. Wow. Yeah. So we have the holiday season approaching. So what we've done today is some great uh, ideas for canapes. I know we all have a vegan or a vegetarian or someone who's gluten-free coming for the holidays. We don't know what to do. Yeah. So this is the great, perfect Let's book for with, it. What are we making here? So these are kale spring rolls. So as I always say, kale is the new beef, Loving of course. That. <laughs> <laughs> so, cute. so this is black kale or dinosaur kale. Um, this is a slaw that I've made. It's just shredded carrots, shredded beets, hemp seeds, sea salt, and lemon juice. That's it. What? Very simple. The salt and the lemon juice help to soften it and break mm -hmm. it down and give it the mouthfeel being slightly steamed. I have hemp seeds in here for protein. And I'm just going to load my kale up just like this. And I'm really just going to roll it. It's, it's that simple. That's it. Right? And that's a perfect example of a canopy you can serve at the holiday, a holiday gathering. Tell us why you love kale so much. Kale is so versatile in the kitchen. There's so many uses. As a professional chef, I can do uh, sautés, steams, raw kale chips. I've even put it into desserts before. Really? Yes. Yeah, and it's Snuck just it in there. insanely healthy. So here we have, these are uh, coconut vanilla macaroons oh, right. drizzled with a raw chocolate fondue sauce. Again, five ingredients or less, 15 minutes or less to the table. So how'd you get it clumped up together like that? Coconut butter is the magic coconut trick. Coconut butter. It's good for your skin too. Really? And do you melt the, the chocolate because are you allowed, you, can you some heat? So this is actually raw chocolate that I've made in a blender and it's just oh. drizzled on top. Oh, I see. Yeah, so much of raw food is deconstructing a recipe and putting it back together again mm -hmm. just with healthy ingredients. What's so interesting is that you've got this raw food and when you think of a chef you think that they're cooking everything and here you are you've taken the time to come up with these recipes five ingredients so does it make it any less interesting or even more interesting to cook raw food I mean to make raw food. You know what the, the key to good food is flavor texture color presentation and in any of these recipes no no not at all so these are stuffed cucumber cups so this is a stuffing made of hemp seeds red pepper sea salt lemon juice in cucumber cups I want to try it but I'm afraid that you know I might make a I mess know, on TV, might, but I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna be <laughs> trying go these it. in a minute so you try that one row these are then. mushroom tarts okay. so again five ingredients or less 15 minutes or less to the table these are sunflower nori pinwheels I'm jumping so in these are a great one. finger it's food like you can serve sushi. at a party as well Okay. Sunflower nori pinwheels. pinwheels. Right here. Amazing. It is so tasty. You can taste the um, the red pepper, the hemp. You said you yes. mix that in as well? Yeah. In the blender, just... In the food processor. In the food processor. Yeah. Mm. I, all, in, my, in my new cookbook, yeah. everything is done with a food processor, blender, cutting board, knife, vegetable peeler. Very simple. Long gone are the days of the dehydrators and the, and the, mm -hmm. and the you know, you don't need all of that. Douglas, I can tell you, I think out of everyone, at the desk, I think I'm the pickiest. I really do, because I don't do a lot of the food segments, because I'm like, no, I don't eat that. Yeah. I don't try this. I don't do this. This is so good. Thank you very it much. It really is very tasty. And as you said, all raw food, just five ingredients. What's in this? Five. What's Red pepper, mm -hmm. lemon juice, yeah, sea salt, this. hemp seeds, cucumber. Wow. Yeah. That's it? Yeah. That's fantastic. I'm at the Evergreen Brickworks every Saturday. I have a large selection of food. Um, you can go on my website. I mm -hmm. change my menu every week, so DougMcNish.com. That is amazing. Isn't that so great? <laughs> Isn't that it? Is, this is fantastic. Really? Amazing. This is so great. Wait till you go for the dessert. Okay. I know, and I want to try these ones, but I'm waiting. For, I know, know. That, that might be messy. Uh, yeah, I'm waiting for the commercial break. It might be. But why do you love um, almonds seem to be that that nut that people go for? You know what? When you get that 3 o'clock, you hit that wall mm -hmm. and you crash full of protein, full of fiber. It's going to help bring your blood sugar levels up. Hemp seeds, great form of protein. Healthy fats, good for your skin. Cashews, same thing. Healthy fats, full of protein. But tell me this. Is it raw? Is there a difference? You know, these are raw almonds. You don't want the ones that are roasted, right? Or You know, it's. I, I always say it's better to eat than not to eat at all. Yeah. But mm -hmm. um, raw is definitely better. As soon as raw you start better. to roast nuts and seeds, you you're roast. destroying, you're denaturing the fats. They're going rancid. It's not good for your body. The book yeah. is called oh. Raw, Quick, and Delicious, Five Ingredient Recipes in Just 15 Minutes. Doug McNish, great to see you. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm so diving into more of this in just a second. We'll be right back.